So uh, this next song I wrote in the middle of the night, one night when my daughter, who is now seven, um, was just a little infant. And uh, I was in a period of my life where I was feeling uh, very lonely and alone. And uh, I'm going to read you guys, if you don't mind, a little excerpt. I wrote a book um, in 2020 which is a companion book for my album called 30s, and this is the book that goes with it. So there's a short story for every song that I wrote. Um, I'm just going to read a little excerpt of it, and, uh, and then I'll play you the song that goes with it. If I can find my bookmark. The party. It's the middle of the night, but I tell myself the sun will be coming up soon. It makes me feel less alone to think this way. The maple tree line of our property calls to me as I stare out the window, waiting for a sign of life, for another solitary night creature to meet my eyes with its own. My ears wait too, starved for the early morning cry of a lawnmower, a barking dog, anything to make the quiet feel less like loneliness. I wait for a connection. The baby is in my arms. She is the reason I'm awake. At just six months old, she's a stranger to time, but she seems to like the hours when the sky is too blue to be night and too black to be morning the best. All she knows is hunger, the burning and twisting in her belly. She is its host, much like I was hers for those long nine months. I look down at her face, at the incarnation of my blue eyes, and I also feel the burning and twisting. I hunger for sleep and freedom for my body and also for him. I wonder when he'll be home. I keep waiting for my connection. Here's the picture that goes with it. <laughs> Tell me what would happen if I just lay down, refuse to get up till you came around. Would the baby wake you? Would the morning sun? Would this old house crumble? Everything come undone. Take me to the party. It feels like I'm missing now. I wanna be happy. I wanna get drunk and wild. Tell me what would happen if I stayed out. Freedom feels like